Hello world. Not doing much today. Today is Saturday. Daddy's at work. Mama's working outside and I'm inside. Cleaning, dusting. And <laughs> um updating some websites that I joined. And um just thought I'd do a video. This will probably be really short. I really don't have much to say. I finally went on my email and I had 1,166 spam. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. it took forever to delete them. So I just hit delete all, thinking that would work, and it took forever for it to delete all. I'm going to have to learn to start checking email more often. And um, I finally went to both of my accounts and then I went to another email account and I forgotten the password and it's written down a notebook somewhere so I'm going to have to go through my notebooks and figure out you know where it's at but anyway I had to reset my password for two of my websites that I have and <laughs> it's really funny how you don't get on them often and you forget the password and then you'll look at a book or something, or a piece of paper or something, and you'll see it, and you'll be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot that. I mean, it's really bad when you forget it. I mean, I still remember my old AOL password that we had 10, okay, that may be a little extreme, uh, 8 years ago. And, um, I still remember the email address and the password. But... It just takes a little while longer to remember, you know, new passwords. So I tried to do something difficult, you know, because I'm learning about how people can hack into your computer or hack into your website. So I learned how to set up a good password because I've had my Facebook hacked in three times, four times really, and I lost a lot of contacts and, um... Thankfully, the last three times, I've been able to keep my Facebook account and just been able, you know, to start over. And, um, I don't lose, you know, that many friends. But the first time it attacked me, it was like a chosen attack when we had dial-up internet. And then it was like, you know, it just wiped my Facebook, like, completely clean. And all it was was my name and my picture, and that's it. It wasn't nothing on there at all. And, um, I couldn't put nothing on there. I couldn't update my status. I couldn't get any friends. So, um, I had to, to deactivate it. And I couldn't deactivate it. So I had to contact Facebook and, you know, tell them, you know, hey, my account got hacked and I can't do nothing to it. So they yeah, deactivated it for me. And I got a new account. And <laughs> the third the second time we had DSL internet and a Trojan attack from a YouTube video that somebody sent me on Facebook and um, a Trojan attack through it and when um, my computer you know noticed it it was like it took it away and I thought everything was fine but um, it kept saying that I wasn't logged in um, and it didn't show my profile picture and I just couldn't log in, I couldn't log out, I mean it was just like it was stuck. And I went back on there later on and everything was fine, so I guess, you know, it might have been just a glitch. And the fourth time, no, the third time, and um, I was doing something and it kept saying I wouldn't log in, and I knew I was, you know, because I hadn't logged out. And I hit remember me, that way I can upload pictures and not have to log back in because sometimes it takes forever to upload pictures, depending on how many I do. So, um, I just logged out and I, um, went, was able to log back in and I changed my password right there. And sure enough, somebody was trying to hack into my Facebook because when I changed my password, everything was fine. So, and the fourth time it happened, it wasn't really anything special. I think, um, well, nothing. <laughs> Anyway, um, it just was really, really short, and, um, it just, Facebook started acting weird, so I don't know what that was. But anyway, um, I gotta go, I gotta, gotta clean up the living room and everything, 
and um, I will chat with everyone later. Um, a busy week coming up for me. See y'all later. Bye-bye.